Ichigo Amasawa has become one of my favorite characters of Clash of the Elite. Not just second year, but in general, this series has produced a lot of good characters. But there's something about Ichigo that just really stands out and is the reason why she's become one of my favorite characters of this series. Now, Ichigo is a very interesting character, not just because of her personality and the way of thinking, it's because of her dynamic with Ayana Koji. And I'll explain that more later, but like always, if you have not been up to date with Clash of the Elite, the light novels, then you have been warned because I am going to spoil things that happen in second year so if you're not up to date with this series then you have been warned because i am going to spoil things that happen in second year so going back before we talk about anything between her and ayana koji let's talk about her backstory now in the beginning of second year and pretty much throughout second year there wasn't a lot of information about ichika's backstory later on in the series we would find out that ichika is one of the white room students that was sent to the school in order to take down ayana koji but in terms of how she even got to the white room in the first place was not yet revealed that was until quite recently in volume 0 of Clash of the Elite in which we find out that Ishka has terrible parents which is not surprising because you do have to remember there's a lot of terrible parents in Clash of the Elite I think the only exception has been Isaki Nagi's dad and that's about it but anyway going back to Ichika we find out that Ichika's parents actually gave her away to the white room ever since she was born so pretty much ever since she was born she's been in the white room kind of like how Ayana Koji was as well where when he was born he was immediately sent to the white room as well not to mention that it was in this same volume as well that we find out that Ichika has another sibling that was also sent in the white room because once again her parents suck and ever since then she's been in the white room for almost her entire life that was until she was one of the white room students that was taxed to go to the advanced nurturing high school in order to take down Ayana Koji and bring him back to the white room. But before this revelation, her introduction to the series was a very interesting one. She was introduced in second year volume 1 and remember it was during this time where no one knew who the white room students were and Ayana Koji was having a hard time finding out who this white room student was that was supposed to take him down because in this new generation of white room students which is the fifth generation, they were taught about emotions and how to have emotions so basically any interaction that Ayana Koji had with first year students could potentially be the white room student and Ichigo was no exception as just one introduction from her was just enough to show us what kind of person she truly is. During the conversation between her, Sudo, Horikita and Ayana Koji during a time in which second years had to pair up with first years in order to take the up and coming exam Ichigo said that she was fine being Sudo's partner but she was very demanding at the same time as she said that the only way she will ever be partners with Sudo is if he showed how strong he really is. Now at first Horikita was very confused and didn't really agree to this agreement but because they were really looking for partners she had no choice but to accept this agreement. But then during the last minute it seems that Ishka changed her mind as she stated that now in order for her to be partners with Sudo she now insisted that someone needs to cook her a meal and that she has to enjoy it. And like I said earlier from just this one interaction we got to see what kind of person Ishka is. Ishka is a mischievous person. Person. For her, sometimes there are things that are just seen as just a game for her and she doesn't really take things very seriously. Not to mention the way she speaks to other people and the attitude towards them is mostly just for her curiosity as to see how people will react when they're treated a certain way. And it's not like she's not fully aware. She is fully aware that her personality and her attitude are the reason why some members of her class, that being class A, don't like her and she's unable to make any friends. But Ichika could care less about that as she doesn't really care what other people have to to say because they're not important people they're people that she has no interest whatsoever and this is where we get to her admiration for Ayana Koji. That's right, Ishka admires Ayana Koji to the point where anything he says or does is just simply fascinating for her. Now, you may be saying, wait, what about that whole thing between Ayana Koji and Hosen where it's revealed that Hosen was trying to get Ayana Koji expelled and it's revealed after the plan failed that Ishka did play a part in this plan in getting Ayana Koji expelled. Well, as it turns out later on in the series, we find out that the only reason why Ishka was even in this plan to begin with was because she wanted to see what Ayana Koji was going to do as during her time in the white room she heard so many stories about Ayana Koji about him being the perfect human being and him being the smartest person to come out of the white room. Now the reason why this was said to the kids in the white room was because they wanted the kids to have jealousy or hatred towards Ayana Koji because they wanted to see that if they told these kinds of stories to them would that motivate them to try 
reach the top or in some cases what some students would really do anything to get stronger and be more smarter than Ayana Koji in order to beat Ayana Koji. However, Ishka was not one of those kids that felt jealousy or hatred towards Ayana Koji. That's where her admiration began as she wanted to know why Ayana Koji was considered the perfect human being, the strongest of the strongest, the most smartest person to come out of the white room. That's the whole reason she even joined Hosen's plan into trying to get Ayana Koji expelled. It wasn't that she wanted Ayana Koji to be expelled, she just wanted to see what he was going to do in order to get out of this whole situation. And after Ayana Koji managed to destroy Hosen's plan, that's when she realized that he's the real deal. There's a reason why he's considered the perfect human being. But with that being said, she also had a habit of teasing Ayana Koji. She will often make some very interesting comments, that's all I'm gonna say, to see if Ayana Koji would get some sort of reaction or would this provoke Ayana Koji to doing something. And just to show us how upfront she was about all this, she would often do a lot of the teasing in front of K. And let me remind you that Ayana Koji and K were already in a relationship during second year. And and even though Ichika knew this, she still decided to proceed into teasing Ayana Koji and making some very interesting comments as well. So yeah, it just goes to show us how she doesn't really care about how others feel and she's not afraid as to show what kind of personality she actually has. But even though she teases Ayana Koji and tries to do some things in order to provoke him into doing something, that doesn't mean that she isn't loyal to him as there have been moments in the series in which she has tried to protect Ayana Koji. Like during the island exam in which Kushida being Kushida, she tries to do whatever it takes in order to get Ayana Koji expelled. She witnessed there was a fight between Nanase and Ayana Koji and tried to take pictures and videos and I guess this plan was was to show it to the school showing that Ayana Koji was hitting a girl. But this plan backfired as Ichika intervened and told Kushida to pretty much back off as she has no right into trying to get Ayana Koji expelled. After this Kushida tries to do a sneak attack on Ichika as she had her back turned. This was pointless because Ichika was able to do a counter attack and defeat Kushida very quickly showing us just how strong some of the white room students are in the white room. And while we're talking about Ishka's strength, let's just quickly talk about just how strong Ishka actually is because it was in this same arc in the island exam, Ishka shows just how strong she actually is because even though she has this very mischievous attitude and has a habit of not taking things too seriously, when she is being serious, she goes all out and it was clearly shown during the fight between her Horikita and Ibuki. Horikita was trying to figure out what Ayana Koji was doing as Horikita knew that Ayana Koji was up to something in this exam. However, Ishika intervened from her going any further as like I mentioned earlier, she really doesn't like when people try to get into Ayana Koji's business. And the fight between Horikita and Ibuki versus Ishika was probably one of the best fights of second year so far. I mean, we got to see another white room student that isn't Ayana Koji fight other people who are also very solid fighters. Ibuki and Horikita are are very good at fighting as well. We've seen how good they are at fighting, but of course, because this is Ichika, and once again, this is a white room student, this fight wasn't going to be easy for Ibuki and Horikita, and it was very clearly shown as no matter what Horikita and Ibuki did, no matter how many punches they threw or how many times they tried to get Ichika to be taken down, Ichika was unfazed, and it seemed that for her, this was all just fun and games. And even though there was not really a winner in this fight because no one really got taken down that easily, although you could argue that Ishka did win technically because no matter what Horikita and Ibuki did, they were no match for her. It was a very good fight to see because it just shows us how strong Ishka is and how she's able to pretty much fight people who are also very solid fighters as well. Now, after saying all this, after saying about Ishka's personality, after saying how strong she actually is, what if I were to tell you that there was somebody that Ishka actually was afraid of? What if I were to tell you that Ishka, the same girl who has an ego and is somebody that is not that easy to take down no matter how good of a fighter you are and is the same girl that no matter what someone tells her or what someone calls her, she's not bothered by them because she's not afraid of them whatsoever. What if I were to tell you that that same person is afraid of someone and that person is Yagami. That's right, Ishka is afraid of Yagami. Yagami is later revealed in the series that he's also the other white room student that was sent to take down Ayana Koji. Now, Ishka Ishika and Yagami are from the same generation, the fifth generation. However, Yagami is considered to be the second best in the white room. That's right, Yagami is considered to be the second strongest apart from Ayana Koji. 
And with this info, it just goes to show us how important ranks are in the white room and how really ranks do affect how the white room students view each other. And this was clearly shown in volume 4.5 of second year in which Ishka is going to have a conversation with Yagami in a room in which Ishka is curious as to what Yagami is planning on doing next to which Yagami just simply responds saying that everything is going according to plan. But as soon as he starts walking towards Ishka, Ishka becomes more guarded and in fact it very clearly shows that she is very scared of him because as soon as he starts to be close to her she is very quick to make sure that she has no opening because she realizes that Yagami will take advantage of that and could potentially hurt her. Even though Yagami says how he won't do anything to her, Ishka can't really fully trust him as it was during this time in which Ishka was considered a traitor of the white room because she did not want to expel Ayana Koji. So she realized that because Yagami was still very loyal to the white room, basically him and her were enemies. And once again, due to Yagami being considered the second strong, is Ichika had no idea if she was going to be able to defeat him that easily. And it was at this moment that made me realize that Ichika does have weaknesses. Sure, she is a white room student, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have a weakness. Unlike Ayana Koji, where as of right now, we still don't really know what his actual weakness is. But with this moment, it was very clear that Ichika is really afraid of Yagami and what he's capable of doing. And something I forgot to mention is that while Ichika is a very strong fighter, there is one person that is able to take her down, and that's none other other than Ayana Koji. During the culture festival arc, when Ishika was threatening to break Kushida's arm, Ayana Koji was able to quickly step in and take Ichika down. At that moment, Ichika realized that not only was Ayana Koji stronger than her, but that she is miles away from being considered the very best. However, if there was one good thing that came out of the culture festival for her was the fact that it was during that same event that Yagami was defeated by Ayana Koji. And reminder, Ayana Koji didn't even have to talk to Yagami or meet him in person person to take him down. When Yagami was in a rampage after being defeated by Ayana Koji, Ichika tried to stop Yagami's rage. However, due to the amount of rage and hatred he had at that moment, it was very clear at that moment that even though she tried to be brave, she was still scared of Yagami. But even though she was scared, she was still willing to fight him no matter what. But ultimately, due to Yagami failing and not being able to take down Ayana Koji, members of the White Room came to take Yagami back to the White Room. And that's the story so far with Ichika Amasawa. As of right now, she is still considered a traitor to the white room. And even if she decided to drop out of the school right now, she has nowhere to go as she can no longer go back to the white room because once again, she is considered a traitor. So as of right now, Ichika is still going to be in the advanced nurturing high school. And at this moment, it's very clear that she is going to be by Ayana Koji's side, which indicates that she's going to be an ally. As remember, she has no intentions of getting Ayana Koji expelled because once again she admires him and with that that's the story of Ishka so far I'm really looking forward as to what Ishka is going to do next in the future novels and it's very clear this is not the end of her we are going to still see her around and I'm curious at what they're going to do with this character because there's a lot of things that could be done with this character and I'm really looking forward as to what's to happen next in Clash of the Elite so with that that's pretty much the entire video hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time